congratulations. It's great to see that you have, you you won two uh, two uh, awards with your film. Um, Men's room. <laughs> your pronunciation is brilliant. And this short video is uh, about you and the film. And we, as ambassadors of your film, we are really very proud to be here in Beef. And I, uh, as uh, the leader of uh, of Positive Attitude Formation Foundation, um, we would like really to bring your film into hospitals and to send your messages about humanity, life, and death, and community to Hungarian communities. Um, the first question is rather simple. Why do you offer this film to see? Uh, I think it's an uh, important film for people to see on how you can deal with, uh, with death when, uh, and when you get hard times in, in uh, friendship with uh, older men, in a group of men, you know. So, uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's about it. That you can, um, it's alright to show emotions and then you can open up between your friends and, uh, when times get rough. Yeah, and also I think um, Ivar, the conductor uh, in the movie, he taught us also that um, it's allowed to have fun while, while you are dying as well. Mm -hmm. So he really uh, died as he lived and uh, we find that very inspiring that he wasn't afraid of he and the choir as well, they were not afraid of kind of s still live to life to the full fullest even though the, uh, the inevitable uh, things are going to happen. For me, what was really inspiring that almost all of the members in the choir step towards Ivar, step towards death, and intimacy inc was increasing during this process. And there was not just closing down doors and windows. That was because of him. The yeah. way he handled his thing. death, he was willing to talk about it, and uh, always. Uh, letting the choir know his uh, thoughts and feelings. I think if you're uh, an animal, so this was my first real experience with death. If you're around someone who's dying, it's, uh, it can be hard and maybe impossible to find the words. And, and there's so many things you maybe want to say, but you don't dare to because you're afraid of saying something wrong. But the way Eva acted, he was uh, so open and honest, so it was <laughs> easy to be around him. Uh, with a, like a, a clearness, and so he was kind of uh, also carrying the weight of the people around him and their sorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So you said, Ivar educated the community members yep. Yep. to be normal, to be close, to have fun, to, to have be fun. with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he told wow. them that it, it was okay to make jokes about cancer, you know, he would do it himself. And then they thought, wow, if he does it, then we can do it. We can all laugh, even though it's sad. You know, what was surprising for me, this intimacy. In Hungary, death is a taboo. And many people think that who is dying is sick and uh, is contagious and things like that. So it was really good to see this touching and emotional scenes uh, and, and, and openness. Something it would be great to see in Hungary. Uh, anyway, it is normal in Norway to die at home. Um, it, I think it's becoming more normal. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. My wife knows a lot about it. She's a, she's a priest. So, uh, but I'm, I really think it's quite rare to show a person dying at his home, in his house. That's quite rare. We haven't seen that in movies, in, uh, in documentary movies, at least. And, and uh, it's another topic, but regarding what you just said, people have come to us, uh, come to us after the screenings and said that uh, someone said this movie could never have been made in Hungary <laughs> because it's, uh, the culture is different. So for us, it's uh, meeting you guys, the civil ambassadors, and hearing that you plan to bring it to hospitals. That it means a lot because for us and for Ivar and uh, the choir, it means that the, the movie kind of uh, uh, grows beyond itself. So if if this story can help 
some Hungarian uh, people, both men and women, to be more open and, uh, yeah, and to dare more when uh, and if things like this happen, it would be a honor for us. This year we focus on the death as a campaign, a good death, which is not alone, preferably at home and with community. Mm -hmm. And I really would like to thank you for your visit, this, this experience. For me, it, it sent messages about life, what I have to do as a man, as a, as a person, as a, as a person before die. And uh, yeah, what, what did you learn? And, and really, really. To be in the last day a member of a community, what is not just a family, but a community who hold me and and and, and have love in the last day and do ever do. <laughs> but I really like and compassion passionate about it. <laughs> So really, thank you, thank you for the film. Uh, continue. I, I really enjoyed it. I love Norway anyway. <laughs> I've been to Trondheim one time. Okay. And it was really Many of the members are from Trondheim. A lot of them. Really? Yeah, yeah. at least eight. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. And really thank you. And good luck. And congratulations again. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you.